in this problem we're being given the zeros of a function and we're being asked to write the polynomial and they're telling us that it's a third degree polynomial. We only see two zeros of this function and at first you might think well it's impossible to come up with a third degree polynomial if you only have two zeros. We could only write two factors and when you multiply two factors together you'll get a second degree polynomial. However one of these zeros is a complex zero. That is, it's a, got a real number part and an imaginary number part. And complex zeros always come in conjugate pairs. So if 3 plus i is a zero of this function, then 3 minus i is a zero of this function. So now we've got three zeros, we can end up with a third degree equation. We want to convert these zeros into factors. And you might think of it like this. When we say one is a zero of the function, we're saying x equals one. It's a solution of this function, a value for x that solves the function uh, and sets it equal to zero. Uh, when we make a factor, we set this solution equal to zero. So we would subtract one from both sides and we would get x minus one equals zero. And then we just take this part as our factor. The shorthand you might use in your head is just to put an x and then the other sign uh, from what's there. So this would be x minus 1 as your factor instead of a plus 1. And likewise, we could say x minus 3 plus i and x minus 3 minus i. And then all we really have to do is to multiply all of these things together. And I say all, it's, it's quite a bit of work, this multiplication. So I think I'm going to just isolate this bit first and multiply and simplify as much as I can, and then multiply it by this bit afterwards. So let's start by uh, foiling. Let's see, I'm missing parentheses here. Let's start by foiling um, these pieces and think of the 3 plus i as one thing and the 3 minus i as one thing. So the first terms here would be x times x, that's x squared. The outside terms would be x times a negative 3 minus i, so this would be negative x times 3 minus i. And then the inside terms, we'd get negative x times 3 plus i. And our last terms would be a uh, negative times a negative is a positive, And it's 3 plus i times 3 minus i. All right, now let's go ahead and multiply through these x's and foil out this bit. So we're going to have x squared, and multiplying through this x, I've got a negative 3x, and then a positive xi. And here we'd get a negative 3x and a negative xi. And here, uh, first terms, we'd get a 9. Outside terms, we'd get minus 3i. Inside terms, we get plus 3i. And last terms, we'd get a negative i squared. All right, now we can do some simplifying here. We've got some pieces that add up to 0. I've got a positive xi and a negative xi. I'm just going to cross them out because they add up to 0. I've got a negative 3i and a positive 3i. Those add up to 0. So we've got x squared. I've got minus 3x minus 3x. That's a negative 6x. And then I've got a 9 and a negative i squared. i squared, you know, it's i is the square root of negative 1. When you square it, you get negative 1. So a negative negative 1 is a positive 1. So this is 9 plus 1, or 10. So that's what this chunk um, uh, simplifies to. Let's multiply that now by x minus 1. And I'll do that by taking the x and multiplying it by each term, taking the negative 1, multiplying it by each term, and then putting it all together. So x times x squared is x cubed. x times a negative 6x is minus 6x squared. And x times 10 is 10x. Now negative 1 times x squared is minus x squared. I'm just going to line these up 
below so we can uh, do our adding together at the end. Negative 1 times negative 6x is a plus 6x. And negative 1 times 10 is minus 10. And we'll go ahead and add these up together, but I'm going to write it up here. So I get x cubed and a negative 7x squared and a plus 16x and a minus 10. And that is our third degree polynomial that has these zeros.